Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world today. Hope you all had a great, great weekend. Um, we're up here now. We're going to check, get some links as usual so that we can kind of get our friends over on Facebook the links and we get all that good information for them. So uh, we're going to start doing that now. Jump on in, say hello, let us know where you're coming in from. Uh, sometimes at the, uh, at the outset it makes it a little bit difficult to see uh, the people's links uh, on the bottom, but we, all, we always get to see it right afterwards uh, in the replay. So make sure you kind of catch that. Let us know. Uh, make sure to kind of to swipe and, and uh, let us know what you're thinking. Let us know what's been, what you've been up to, uh, how your weekend's been. Uh, all that good stuff, and uh, let me just try to get it up here one second, and we get that all going. Uh, each day we get a little bit better at this Periscope uh, thing that we've got going on here through the internet, and, and today we're going to be talking about the power of connection, um, and how it's going to affect your life, your sales, um, everything that we're doing. And Periscope, a lot of it, it's about connection. What I do with organizations is my focus on organizations is to get people to transform their thinking, optimize their assets, and increase their connectivity to increase their sales, increase their promotional efforts, increase all the different things that they're doing out there in the universe. And that's kind of what we want to help you with and give you some ideas that may spur your thoughts and some maybe some ideas that you can share with us. So what I'd like you to do, make sure that you can you know, just swipe the side of, uh, of the app here if you're on, on an Apple phone or push it down if you're on an Android. Share it out, give us some hearts. Hearts lets us know that you're, you're getting something out of it, that you're there, um, and certainly we love to get the hearts. So we appreciate all the hearts that we get from everybody out there uh, on this great Monday where a lot of kids are going back to school and what are they doing? They're out there and they're connecting with new people. I can tell you that my daughter's at the University of Missouri um, and she's down there for the last two weeks just with the sororities and they have their rush and they're getting to connect with different people and see who they want to have relationships and see who they want to uh, form bonds with. These relationships that'll carry on to later in life. You know, as we get older, we keep those connections if we choose to. Because the connections that we have that we've made when we started out from our grade school connections, from our high school connections, college, whatever those connections may have been for you, those are the assets that we have to use in our lives, in our careers, etc. So what I'd like you to focus on this week is the connections in your life, your personal connections, your business connections, and see how you can get more involved with connecting with them on a higher level. Just this morning, I went and had an early morning lunch meeting. I said, you know what? This is the first day of school for me. I want to get back and get connected with some people. And I met with this great, great guy. He's Bob Curry. And we sat down. We had uh, a great conversation. And what we were doing was we were connecting the dots. We were discussing some of the things that we're doing. And people, places, and things are op uh, assets that we may have that we could share together. You know, and he was telling me the story of uh, the school and what they're doing and, and some of these just great, great uh, projects that he's involved with. And we were connecting on different levels. This weekend, I connected with Liz because I, I started working so much. And it's interesting because I was looking at Michael Hyatt's uh, post this morning, his blog post, and it was talking about, you know, 24-7 working, is it too much? And he was like that kind of guy. He worked 24-7, he was focused on the money and it brought poor health, problems in relationships, not being able to connect with his family. So we want to make sure that our connections are important to us, but also important to our family. So don't just look at your connections as assets or, or things to gather up, but look at the connections that you have, your family connections, your business connections, your lifelong connections. Step out and connect with those people, especially if you haven't spoken to them in a while. Let them know what you're up to. If you see that someone's gotten a great award, give them a call and tell them what you thought about it. I sat on a Periscope the other day for 20 minutes laying in bed on time management. It was a fabulous Periscope. And you should follow him, Jess Totfeld out there. Um, and. I went and followed him and I picked up the phone and I said, Jess, that was an amazing uh, periscope. I sat there for 20 minutes, watched the whole thing, and I got some great ideas out of it. Give that feedback to people that you're connecting with. Let them know that they're doing a great job.
Because as you build their connect, your connections, the more feedback that you're giving, the more positive vibes that you can throw out to those people when you're connecting with them, the better you're going to feel. See, if you give to get, you're even. If you give expecting nothing in return, you're always going to be ahead of the game. I reached out to my mother-in-law today. You know, my, my wife had passed away a few years ago. I want to see how she was doing. I picked up that phone. I connected with her. And I found out that she's just having a great time in her life. She's starting to grow and look at other opportunities. And she's getting out there and she's using her mind and she's happy. And that made me so happy. Had I not picked up the phone and connected, I wouldn't have had that feeling. I wouldn't have known what was going on. So who are you going to connect with this week? Somebody that you have not connected with in a long period of time. Maybe it's a year. Maybe it's six months. Maybe it's five years. Maybe it's ten years. Pick up the phone and connect with that person. Don't use an email. Email is impersonal. Pick up the phone and say, hey, I was just checking in on you. I was just thinking about you. Your ears must have been burning. Have you ever had that experience where you're thinking about somebody and all of a sudden, boom, the phone rings and it's them? So pick up that phone. You be that person this week that's going to pick up the phone and make a connection. Make a connection that's not going to make a difference so much in your life. Make a connection that you feel will make a difference in someone else's life. Because when you are other person focused, when you focus on giving them that love, appreciation, and respect, they will give it back to you tenfold. Everybody needs love, appreciation, and respect. So this week, first week back at school, colleges are kicking into motion. Get out there and connect with someone that you have not spoken to in a while. And once you make that connection, Give us some feedback. Let us know if it was an extraordinary experience. Let us know if it made a difference in your life, and certainly let us know if it made a difference in someone else's life. The power of connection is deep and strong. Make sure that you utilize it to give positive feedback, to connect with the universe, and to spread goodwill and positive notes on all the people around you. You will not regret connecting. So make sure you jump out there this week and do it and let us know how great it was. This is Dr. Rick Goodman. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Check out our website at rickgoodman.com. Let us know how we're doing. Give us the, that love. Share the, the channel with others. Give us those hearts. We appreciate those hearts, and we hope that we're making a difference. Have a great day, and have a better week.